head chef. Bud Brown is here today. And what are you fixing up for us, Bud? I'm going to do a uh, chef's spin on boiled drum, which is a classic Outer Banks dish. Probably most of you know what boiled drum is. I'm going to do a little spin on it instead of making it like a soup. We're going to um, sweat down some applewood bacon, onions, and fingerling potatoes and stew that all together. And as that's cooking, we're going to pan sear some red drum. And when it all comes together, we'll plate it and hopefully have a delicious dish for you all to try. All right, with that note, we're ready to get started here. I've got a little nice thickly cut applewood smoked bacon. And I'm going to julienne that. And that's the first thing that we're going to get cooking. Now, as we go along here, I'm going to have my head down a little bit so I don't chop my fingers off. But if anybody gets a question, feel free to shout it out. Who caught this fish? <laughs> this fish was caught by Andrew Berry. All right, where our bacon's rendering, we're going to chop a little onion. Get a second more here on our bacon. These are Yukon Gold baby fingerling potatoes. Instead of using a large potato that you would slice, it gives a better presentation and they got great flavor. I'm going to drain a little bit of oil off of this bacon. And we're going to add some of our onions. All right, got our onions in. All right, now we got our potatoes in the pan. I'm going to season them with a little kosher salt and cracked black pepper. And then this is a uh, Cajun spice that I use to blacken my seafood with. And I make this out of paprika, garlic, onion, black pepper, white pepper, and cayenne pepper, and salt. Everybody know Red Drum is the state fish in North Carolina. That's part of the reason why I select it. All right, we got our potatoes going, our onions going, our bacon going. Now we're going to get our red drum ready. Season our other pan of potatoes. This is basically really stewing potatoes. You're cooking them down in, in the rendered bacon oil with the onions. And normally boiled drum is more done like a soup in a broth, but I just really wanted to put a little different spin on it and it should intensify the flavors a little bit. Now to the red drum. These are coming out of, traditionally the original boiled drum dinner was, tended to come out of like a 30, 40 pound red drum, the huge ones. They used to catch all hatteras in the ocean years ago. You don't see a whole lot of them around anymore. There's a lot of regulations on what size you can use. So what we use is called a puppy drum. And these come out of a fish that's probably about 18 to 20 inches. Put a little oil in our pan for searing our drum. What kind of oil? What kind of oil? That's a blend of uh, soybean and uh, olive oil. So we're going to lay out our drum fillets. We're going to take our uh, kosher salt, crack back pepper, season the fillet. And when you sear fish, you want to get a really super hot pan. It's kind of hard to do inside your house without setting off your fire alarm. All right, let's see how we got a lot of smoke coming off that pan. We're going to go salt and pepper it side down because that's actually going to help you sear and give you a crust on your fish. A lot of heat. All right, we're going to let that just sit there for about two, three minutes and get a really, really good crust on it. I mean, the last thing that you want to do is to start flipping it back and forth. You're going to cook that fish probably three quarters of the way on the first side it's on, and then just flip it over and finish it for the last minute. These fingerling potatoes, I did pre-steam, because otherwise they would take about 40 minutes to cook. I got my first pan done here. I'm going to combine these, make a little more room to cook the rest of this red drum. I don't know if you all can see the crust that's on that fish. That's what you're looking for. And what that's going to do is that's going to sear the juices inside of it. 
So when we go to plate this and we put this on top of the potatoes and onions and bacon, those, those juices will settle in and add a little more flavor to the dish. All right, I think we're about ready on our dish that we're gonna plate for show anyway. So we're gonna get some potatoes and onions. All right, and that is gonna be your finished product that we are gonna show. And we're gonna cook you up a little taster right now. <laughs> 